I have no idea what's going on right now. Ah! Why, is he, why are you in space? Off to a great start. This is already brilliant from the get-go. <laughs> I've seen him. Oh, this is good. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a Guitar Hero controller. I especially love the Guitar Hero controller. Is he playing Sissimo down? Quicker! Yes! Quicker! What language is this? Is he speaking English? Or Spanish? Is he just saying what he thinks it sounds like? <laughs> what is this, yo? <laughs> this guy would be so cool in karaoke. This is real? <laughs> ah! Why, is he, why are you in space? This is why you don't do drugs. What? Like that, so the light comes from within him. <laughs> hey, props to the editor. His editing is phenomenal. Oh my god, it's the remix! The trees are on fire. <laughs> they set the palm trees on fire too. I can be like a backup dancer here. Wonderful. Yeah. What is that? That was pretty stellar. It's it's just it's low budget, but it's low budget on purpose. I give in to feel like rap go rap good. Oh my god, rap god! I feel like his effects got a little bit higher quality. They say the robot so called rap boy, rap boy. Kinda reminds me of Psy from Gangnam Style now. But for me to buy a computer, I'm good luck too. In my back pocket. I have no idea what's going on right now. His closet is very varied. He got all of these costumes from like one party city. This is inspiring. His rapping isn't actually that bad either. He's all of us in this part. Like, we don't know what we're saying. It's just gibberish. It's pretty good. Dang, he raps faster than Eminem. <laughs> what? Hey. I love the remixes. Those are my favorite part. Slap box, slap box. <laughs> Rap bot, rap boot. <laughs> He's killing it, yo. I think he's a real rap god. Yes. This is what an exorcism looks like. That was so good. He's talented. He's creative. This is amazing. It just goes to show that you can make whatever you want with as little budget as you want, if you just have a little bit of time and dedication. And he really accomplished something great here. So those are all music videos by the Peruvian artist, Tongo. Tongo. Does Tongo stand for legend? Cause that's what he is. What do you think of his videos? I am so proud to be Latin right now. I loved his videos, they were the best. He's probably obviously making them f as a joke, I'm assuming. What a wonderland. What a what a journey we were just brought on. That was great. Very unique. I've never seen anything like that before. It's like he's just found, just discovered green screen and wants to use it everywhere. The only other time I've felt this is when I went to a robot restaurant in Tokyo and it's just senses overloading for like two hours straight. It looks like we were kind of witnessing his evolution because the first one was like really super shoddy effects and stuff. Whereas the last one was definitely a higher quality camera. There were more cuts. I love anyone who commits. That's a person who like sits at his computer and really cares and is like, we need a shot of my hand. We need a shot of the eagle. And that's his art. So obviously Tongo's covers are in 
very broken English, but they've been getting huge views online and a lot of them are going viral. So as someone who makes a career online, what do you think is working for Tongo? Uh, his stuff is unique. You, you haven't, I haven't seen anything like that. I watch YouTube and spend most of my time on YouTube. He makes it look effortless. He makes it look like he just doesn't give a shit about anything that he's making, which honestly I feel like makes people more attracted to the content. Sometimes it's just magic. It really is like something that's like, wow, I don't know what this is. It's I can't explain it. And, I, and you, you, you watch it and you are instantly compelled to share it. I think he's doing it poorly on purpose and that's what's really working for him because it's just so hilarious. You're like, what is this guy saying? The effects are on point and just the fact that he doesn't care and he's like, I'm gonna be myself and I'm just gonna be crazy, act wild. The juxtaposition of him being like an older man, being shameless, being shirtless, being just him, unapologetically him, like I could relate to that. The most popular song on YouTube right now or just as a whole in the world, I don't know what Billboard says is Despacito. And I'm sure there are plenty of people who have never spoken a word of Spanish in their life and they try to sing along and I'm sure it end up being exactly the same as Tongo. He's, you know, very self-aware of the production value of it, and I think that that shines through and we can all have a laugh together. So Tongo has been making music since all the way back in the 80s. What? Oh wow, that's amazing. Huh. So he knows what he's doing. Wow, he has a 40 year long career making music. That's incredible. <laughs> Good for you, Tongo. I'm very impressed. So what do you think about the way that a singer who's been around so long is able to have a second win in his late 50s? due to YouTube. Yeah, well, I don't know, that's the beauty of YouTube is that everybody can see it and then anything can go viral. That's amazing, go YouTube, go Tongo, go 50s. That fact that he's in his 50s and has an audience makes it even cooler. There's not a limit or, or, or capacity to being a content creator. There are kids, there are older people. I think it's cool to just express yourself and YouTube's an amazing platform for that. I love it. That's great. He's clearly enjoying himself making them, so I think that's contagious. Like I when think you watch I it. was just I was just concerned about if we were laughing with him or laughing at him, and it sounds like we're laughing with him, and so it's wonderful. So finally, Tongo is starting to have success with these videos. As a YouTuber yourself, what would be your advice for him moving forward? Uh, Tongo, whatever you're doing, keep it up. I've never seen anything like that, and I, I live my life on YouTube. Keep doing his format. Don't get, like, too highly produced. What it looked like on his last one, that seemed about just right. Maybe a little lipstick. I don't know, maybe a lash, maybe some highlighter, if you need a makeup artist. Find a way to put a spin on it, or else this is gonna get very stale very quickly. It's good, it's good, but switch it up, find a way to evolve into something else, and just keep blowing us away with this amazing stuff. Tongo, if you're watching this, keep killing it, man. Um, I don't know what the f you're saying in your videos at all, but like, it doesn't matter, because I'm still gonna love you and I'm still gonna support you. Thank you guys for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Be sure to subscribe to everyone that was on this episode. Their links are in the description. Bye. 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 Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. What 80s Peruvian pop sensation should we react to next? Let us know in the comments.